Now let's move on to a snowy mountain in Switzerland, home to an amazing artist's rendition of a huge tiger. The country welcomes the Year of the Tiger with the world's largest work of art, featuring Swiss light artist Gary Hofstadter's creation, a larger-than-life tiger projected onto the Eiger North Face in Grindelwald. The projection of a more than five kilometer long and over two kilometer tall tiger is a nod to the Chinese New Year calendar and to the international solidarity during the Olympic Games. Hofstetter also timed the light art of the start of the Beijing Winter Games as a beacon of motivation for athletes and a moment to drum up environmental awareness globally. On a sunny morning in Grindelwald, Mr. Hofstetter, standing in front of the mountain for the big cat, had a talk with me via video link. This is certainly exclusive. The talented light artist showed me his work with pride and also excitement. Take a look. I'm in the middle of Switzerland, in the middle of the Swiss Alps, in the middle of the Swiss mountains. Down there is Grindelwald. This is, that's the village where is the owner of the famous Eiger, Eiger North Face. I'm here in the snow, in the morning snow. Oh my God. What is the temperature? What is the altitude? I'm here on 2,222 meters altitude above oh sea God. level. Tonight we had minus 18 degrees. We were working outside doing films. The mountain you can see, the Eiger in, in the back of me, is uh, almost 4,000 meters sea level, the height. And uh, today is a very beautiful day. Very, it's a sunshine day, listening to the music, sunbathing. That's the situation today. Just look at that and, and just listen to your description. Make me feel so much. Want to run to you in Switzerland, in front of that mountain. You create a terrific work, my dear, uh, on the mountain. It's actually the North Face, one of the most dangerous areas, and yet it presents a great backdrop for the tiger. It was actually projected from this region down there to this mountain, to the Eiger, not only on the North Face, even on his chest and back, you know, and the, the size was 5.2 kilometers large, 2.2 kilometers high, and uh, the size, yeah, more than 1,000 football fields, and the distance of projection it's was between 7,000 and 5,000 kilometers, uh, 5,000 uh, 5, oh meters. God. What kind of projector were you using in order to make that happen? So we used special made, all made developed projectors. It took us about seven to eight years to get these details done and know how. And then you have to combine with the weather and uh, a lot of things, energy and uh, transportation and the helicopters. And it's a, it's a big puzzle. And at the end, <laughs> it's it a huge successful. project. <laughs> yes, it's extremely successful. Many of our viewers around the world love it and the Chinese particularly. My best wishes to the Year of the Tiger at the Lantern Festival. I wish you all the power of a tiger, the character of a tiger, how you go to the through your life, smooth, looking, relaxing, hunting, joking, playing, and also a lot of light, a lot of hope and a lot of colors for the Lantern Festival. Tiger on the Eiger. It took indeed years of preparation to get the tiger light projection off the ground. Mr. Hofstetter told me in an earlier interview how he got this idea and painstaking preparations his team took to get the amazing work right. Gary, what a pleasure to see you. That's a terrific work. Thank you very much. Thank you for the compliment. How did you come up with the idea of using tiger and that specific tiger? It's a long story. So I like to be out in the mountains, in the nature. And when I once uh, visited this region, of course, as a Swiss citizen, you have to see the Eiger, this mountain, once in your lifetime. I discovered at the shape of the mountain, it looks like a lying tiger. 
it was it was this was about 10 years ago and then i was smiling oh wow nice tiger and then last year i have done something uh, on the eiger just on the north face and a lot of people were talking hey you're going to the eiger the eiger the eiger and i said this i realized tiger tiger eiger that's it we have in one year year of the tiger i like the tiger it's a proud animal and i know about the chinese new year because i'm a tiger too oh in, 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 yeah that's in the start. so oh that's a good thing and also for the olympic games starting in beijing so let's do something a projection a lion tiger on the eye <laughs> and bring this to the new year chinese new year year of the tiger this was um, the weather and the location and a lot of luck of course because when you want to do this you need very very cold weather minus 20 and more and the constellation of the moon the position of the moon and the size of the moon is very important you have only 24 times a year for 15 minutes just by the moon. Then you have to have very cold. So two factors. Frank, los, Nike. Los, photo. Then you have to have the right position of the stars. I wanted to have the Milky Way above the mountain, above the Eiger. So this is more or less in March. Then you have to have snowfall the day and night before you want to do this. There must be change in the weather from wind from the north, which is, which is not often in Switzerland. Then you get this coldness and no clouds. So all these factors came in, coming together should be ideally at four o'clock in the morning. Oh my God, you have to piece all of these things together in order to make it happen. And it happened. It happened, yeah, finally. What was it like for you to proudly looking at that projection, you know, almost the taking the mountain by tigers in a way? By placing and approaching how we can do this, and with my special developed projectors, we knew only this condition of the weather can do it, and, and a little bit of help of the locals and from our part. Yeah. And the proudness is not about me. The proudness is about the team and the supporting people and the community of Grindelwald mm -hmm. and uh, the, the, the capability to bring such a tiger as an ambassador for everything, for animals, for culture, for your new year, for, for happiness. Mm. That's the proudness, not about me. You know, uh, I know that you are doing works also related to the environment, you know, even in the Arctic. Tell me more about those works. I decided in 2003, um, when I was asked by the United Nations, can you do something for the year of the water, 2003? I said, yes, let's go to the Antarctica down, because the ozone hole was very big. And I will project a polar bear, which is living up in the north. I will bring him to the penguins. I will project him on the penguins because when the situation will come in, in on our planet where a polar bear is going to see in real a penguin, we have a problem mm. climate wise. And this picture became so famous. It was a really, that was a tough thing with the Russian boat, the icebreaker, blah, blah, blah. So I decided after two of these heavy trips to go up in North, the, on, in the Arctic, where the polar bears are living. And this is actually very uh, sad, 
The icebergs I discovered in 2006 up there, they were 110 meters high below above uh, waterline. Last year, I was there again for the seventh time. The iceberg are about 70 meters above the waterline. And it's sad, and that's the reason why I have done this uh, expedition to project images on icebergs, waterfalls, rainforest last year. A rainforest on an iceberg in the Arctic, your brain starts thinking. These pictures are really, they go into your heart and, and you start thinking what we are doing here. But everybody has to do his own mind of what he can do for our planet. I'm not somebody telling you, you have to do this, this, and this. I'm just presenting in a nice, touchy way. And then it's up to you what you do. Gary, there are so many challenges that are not solved and the current mechanism that we have in the world is not very helpful. Tell me more about how you are digesting about these challenges and what gets you going in terms of the energy. The energy I'm getting to do these projects because I work in the nature and with light. We are coming physically because of light. So because of light hits something there was something going to exist, even plants and animals and water. With this light, with messages with light, you touch the heart of the people. It's not a heavy, dark message tool. It's a light message tool. You understand, point one. Point two, I digest because I have so I have seen so many beautiful sunsets and sunrise. And every day when I wake up, I'm so grateful that I can stand up myself and start a new day. This is what I believe is to digest, to be grateful. And the energy I'm getting is actually the feedback, like you, from your nation, from China, that they love the tiger. It's proving I'm on the right track of my life. Gary Hofstetter, using the image of a tiger on a huge mountain to express his views for peace. That's all the time we have for today. If you'd like to see more, search World Inside or check out our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Tian Wei. On behalf of the team, thanks for being with us. Bye for now.